Hi friends, this is Imanshu here, and today we are going to discuss about estimation of the shelf life of drug products through Arrhenius equation. Uh, in this discussion, we'll try to figure out a mathematical calculation or the mathematical tool to calculate shelf life of a drug product with the defined data we are having. Moving forward, we'll see what is shelf life first of all. So the shelf life is the duration of the period defined for a drug product after which the drug product cannot be suitable for consumption. ICH defines it as a time period during which a drug product is expected to remain within the approved shelf life specification provided that, that it is stored under the condition defined on the container label. Why the drug product will not be fit for consumption after achieving shelf life? Uh, we all know that the chemical degradants in the drug product will increase during the whole lifespan of the product and exceed the levels of the desired specification limit. Well, moving forward, how to determine the shelf life? Mathematically, we can apply a simple calculation in which if we are having a data for the specification limit of a degradant usually we are having specifications for impurities uh, here we are talking about a single impurity so i will address impurity for degradant henceforth and uh, the initial level of the degradant the data of the initial level of the degradant so if we subtract the specification limit and uh, the initial level of the degradant so the balance amount can be divided by the rate of the changes of the degradant per month now the challenge is how to get the rate of the change of degradant per month now that is the thing for which we require rns equation and for which this equation can help us to calculate uh, not in every case but in most of the cases let's see how it can help us here i had uh, given one example to understand this that uh, if my specification limit for an impurity is 0 0.50 percent my initial level of impurity was 0.05 percent and the rate of the change of impurity 0.05 percent per month then the shelf life of the product is 0 0.50 minus 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.05 is equals to 9 months and the question is from where i will get this data that is the rate of the change of impurity that is key value <coughs> so moving forward we'll see how to get it uh, how to determine the rate of the change of degradant the rate of the change of degradant can be estimated by Arrhenius equation but before that we'll see what is Arrhenius equation is Arrhenius equation is k is equals to a uh, e raised to the power minus ea by rt now it's these all of the terms but what is stands for what we can we can see it here so k is equals to the rate of the change of the degradant per month that is what we want to calculate a is equals to the constant for rate change ea is the energy of activation for the changes of degradant r is equals to the universal gaze constant and t is temperature in degree kelvins it's not in centigrades it's in kelvins now here i had uh, taken an arbitrary example to really understand that how it help us and how we can calculate uh, or estimate our shelf life uh, of any product with the data we are having so here uh, the case study which I had taken is that the drug product X of any ABC pharmaceutical company studied and established with all precautions and got commercialized. Now, uh, 
the impurity of 0.10% was achieved in the 24 month established shelf life means the company has studied and done the long term uh, stability study of the impurity and uh, the impurity level was 0.10 only after 24 months now this product was well set and the product has got changed for sight with all technology and process without changing anything is changed for sight only and the stability study of the product for sight transfer batch was giving some uh other results the initial level of the impurity itself was 0.05 which was not detected at first sight so the stability data for the site transfer batch is tabulated over here here you could see that the accelerated stability study uh, is showing 0.11% in the first month 0.18% in the second month and 0.24% in the third month for 3065 0.1% in the third month itself now we have to estimate or we have to evaluate what will be the shelf life of the drug product for this impurity if the rate of the changes of impurity will be like this so what we will do we will move forward and see the shelf life calculation and here we had already seen uh, the arrhenius equation is with all its variables moving forward now we are having two data sets we are having data sets with 40 degree centigrade and data set with 30 degree centigrade now putting these details we have to estimate the shelf life at 25 degree centigrade so what i have done i had made a calculation for this and i request all of you to just go word by word or you can do it with pen and paper so that you can understand it better what i want to really express with this so here the arrhenius equation is k is equals to rate of the change of degradation of impurity is the rate constant he is energy of activation r is universal case constant is 1.987 is a constant value temperature in degree kelvin now we have two data sets over here which we had already discussed that at one is at 40 degree centigrade and other other one is at 30 degree centigrade uh, we can just look at it once again so that yeah so one data set is at 40 degree centigrade and and the other data set is at 30 degree centigrade so now with this with the third month value we'll try to evaluate the shelf life of the drug product at 25 degree centigrade so putting these values we have to estimate shelf life at 25 degree centigrade so now uh, k1 is equals to a e exponential minus e by e by rt1 k1 is the rate of the change of impurity at 40 degree centigrade k2 accordingly is the rate of the change of impurity at 30 degree centigrade now taking log of both equation 2 and equation 3 equation 2 and equation 3 we can modify it into equation 4 and 5 here you could see that 
I had simply taken the log of the equations and uh, converted it into equation 4 and 5. Now by solving the above equation we will get log k1 plus ea by rt1 is equals to log k2 plus ea by rt2 what i have done is simply i had replaced for ln a yes that is log of a and kept these two equations before each other so by this i can get equation number seven now in this i had merged two equations you could see that ln k1 minus ln k2 is equals to a by r 1 by t 2 minus 1 by t1 is equation number seven now solving this further i had changed it into equation number two here i had not done any changes just done a simple calculation for the temperature so now making a little modification in the equation number 8 I changed it into equation number 9 and that is rt1 t2 ln k1 minus ln k2 by t1 minus t2 now here you could see that uh, I had calculated energy of activation here I am having two data sets two temperatures T1 and T2 obviously T1 is 40 degree centigrade T2 is 30 degree centigrade but I am not having the K values so what I will do I have to equate it further so here I had calculated the energy of activation now putting this into equation number 4 means putting the equation number 9 into equation number 4 I had made an equation number 10 here you could say that ln k1 is equals to ln a minus ea by rt1 that is my equation number 4 is we will see it once again ln k1 minus l is equals to ln a minus a by rt1 is my equation number 4 i had replaced this ea by equation number 9 so this has became this equation number 10 you could see now solving this equation number 10 I had made an equation number 11 where I had made I had divided this constant with this constant t1 with this t1 so this has became this equation ln k1 is equals to ln a minus t2 ln k1 minus ln k2 t1 minus t2 is for equation number 11 now modifying this I had got the value of ln a that is ln k1